In this class we work out five problems using dependent voltage source and dependent current source. Problem number one, determine the power delivered by the source and the dependent voltage source. The circuit consists of two resistors, one is 10 ohm and there is 12 ohm which are connected in series. The dependent voltage source is 3 into V4. Here voltage across the 10 ohm resistor is V4. 220 is a RMS voltage. Apply Kirchhoff's current law by which we can find the total current I. Let me assume current flow in the circuit is I. I is equal to 220 angle 0 minus 3 into V4 divided by total resistance. Total resistance is 10 plus 12 that is equal to 22 ohms. Therefore, I is equal to 220 by 22 that is equal to 10 minus 3 by 22 that is equal to 0.136 V4. Since V4 is equal to 10 into I, I can write I is equal to 10 angle 0 minus 0.136 into 10 into I. I is equal to 10 into angle 0 minus 1.36 I. I can easily find I. I is equal to 10 divided by 2.36. That is equal to 4.24 amps. The total current flow in the circuit is 4.24 amps. Now I can easily find the power delivered by the source. That is equal to VRMS into IRMS into cos theta. Here power factor angle is 0. Therefore cos 0 is 1. Power factor is 1. 220 into 4.24 into 1. That is equal to 932.8 watts. That is the power delivered by the source. Next power delivered by the dependent voltage source. That is I into 3 into V4. Here V4 is equal to 10 into I. Therefore, power delivered by the voltage source is equal to 30 into I square. I know I. I is equal to 4.24. 30 into 4.2 for the whole square. That is equal to 539.33 watts. I can easily find what is the power dissipated in the 10 ohm resistor and the 12 ohm resistor. I square into 10 that is equal to 179.78 watts. I square into 12 that is equal to 215.73 watts. 539.33 plus 179.78 plus 215.73 that is almost equal to 932.8 watts. Problem number 2. Find the power dissipated in the 40 ohm resistor. That's the question. This circuit consists of one independent voltage source, one dependent current source and two resistors. This is 22 ohms. This is 40 ohms. This is a reference node. This node voltage is V. This is I1. This is I2. This is I3. Apply Kirchhoff's current law. I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. V1 is equal to V1 is equal to V minus 220. I1 is equal to 0.5 V1. I2 is equal to V minus 220 divided by 22. I3 is equal to V by 40. Therefore, 0.5 V1 is equal to V minus 220 divided by 22 plus V by 40. I simplify the equation. I got 440 V1 is equal to 62 V minus 8800. I know that V1 is equal to V minus 220. I substitute 1 in the equation 2. Now this equation will become 440 into V minus 220 is equal to 62V minus 8800. 
Again, I simplify the equation. I got 378V minus 88,000 is equal to 0. Therefore, V is equal to 88,000 divided by 378. That is equal to 232.8 volts. The voltage is 232.8. I can find V1. V1 is equal to 232.8 minus 220 that is equal to 12.8 volts. I know V, I know V1, I can easily find I1, I2, I3. I1 is equal to 0.5 into V1, 0.5 into 12.8 that is equal to 6.4 amps. I1 is equal to 6.4 amps. I3 is equal to 232.8 divided by 40. I3 is equal to 5.82 amps. I2 is equal to V minus 220. 232.8 minus 220. That is equal to 12.8 divided by 22. That is equal to 0.58 amps. I1 is equal to 6.4. I2 is equal to 0.58. I3 is equal to 5.82. Now I can easily find the power dissipated in the 40 ohm resistor. I3 square into R. 5.82 square into 40. That is equal to 1.355 kilowatts. That is the power dissipated in the 40 ohm resistor. Problem number 3. Find the power dissipated in the 20 ohm resistor. The circuit consists of one independent voltage source, one dependent voltage source, two resistors 20 ohm, 1 ohm, one inductor J6 ohm, one capacitor minus J8 ohm are connected as shown in figure. This is I1, this is I2, this is I3. There are three nodes. This is V1, this is V2, this is V3. I1 is equal to V2 minus V1 by 20. I2 is equal to V3 minus V2 divided by minus J8 ohms. I3 is equal to V2 divided by 1 plus J6. According to Kirchhoff's current law, I1 plus I2 is equal to I3. Here Vx, this is 50 Vx. This is Vx. Vx is equal to I3 into R. Here R is equal to 1. Therefore, Vx is equal to I3 into 1. That is equal to I3. V1 is equal to 200. V3 is equal to 50 into Vx. That is equal to 50 into I3. Because Vx is equal to I3. 50 into I3. I3 is equal to V2 by 1 plus J6. Therefore, V3 is equal to 50 into V2 divided by 1 plus J6. Here, V2 minus 200 by 20. That is I1 plus 50 into V2 divided by 1 plus J6 minus V2 divided by minus J8 is equal to V2 by 1 plus J6. Simplify the equation. We got V2 into 1.0365 plus J.206 is equal to 10. I can find V2. V2 is equal to 10 divided by 1.0365 plus J.206. That is equal to 9.281 minus J1.8446 volts in rectangular form. I can find I1 because I know V1, I know V2, I1 is equal to V2 minus V1 by 20. 9.281 minus J 1.8446 minus 200 divided by 20. That is equal to 9.536 angle minus 179.445 degrees in polar form. Once I know I1, I can find the power dissipated in the 20 ohm resistor. That is I1 square into R 
9.536 the whole square into 20 that is equal to 1818.70 watts power dissipated in the 20 ohm resistor is 1818.70 watts problem number 4 find the power delivered by the independent and dependent voltage source shown in figure Instantaneous voltage V is equal to 325 cos 314T plus 20 degrees. The maximum voltage is 325. I redraw the circuit like this. This is plus minus. This is 5 ohms. Voltage across 5 ohm is V5. This is dependent voltage source 10 into V5. This is J4 ohms. I is the maximum current. I is equal to 325 angle 20 plus 10 into V5 divided by 5 plus J4. Since V5 is equal to 5 into I. Therefore, I is equal to 325 angle 20 plus 10 into V5. Instead of V5, I can write 5 into I. Therefore, I is equal to 325 angle 20 plus 50 into I divided by 5 plus J4. I simplify the equation. I got I into 7.06 angle 136.26 degrees is equal to 50.76 angle minus 18.60 degrees. Now, I can find I. I is equal to 50.76 angle minus 18.60 divided by 7.06 angle 136.26 degrees. I is equal to 7.19 angle minus 154.86 degrees. The power factor angle is 154.86 degrees. Cos 154.86 that is equal to 0.91. The current is lagging. I can find power delivered by the independent voltage source. I know Vm. I know the maximum current. I know the power factor. Therefore, Vm by root 2 into Im by root 2 into cos theta, 325 by root 2 into 7.19 by root 2 into 0.91, that is equal to 1063.22 watts. Power delivered by the dependent voltage source, that is 10 into V5 into I. I can write V5, 5 into I, that is equal to 50 into I square. That is, this is I is the maximum value. Therefore, 50 into I m square divided by root to the whole square. That is, 50 into I square divided by 2. That is equal to 50 into 7.19 the whole square divided by 2. That is equal to 1292.40 watts. A power delivered by the independent voltage source is 1063.22 watts. Power delivered by the dependent source is 1292.40 watts. Problem number 5. Find the power dissipation in the 10 ohm resistor. The circuit consists of one independent voltage source, one dependent voltage source, one dependent current source. This is 4 ohm resistor. This is J5, this is minus J5, uh, resistor, inductor and capacitor. The voltage across the 10 ohm resistor is V0. This is 0.1 V0, dependent current source, this is 8 into I0. We have to find what is the power dissipation in the 10 ohm resistor. First apply Kirchhoff's voltage law. 4 into I0 plus 0.1 V0 is equal to 8 angle 20 degrees. Now I rewrite the equation 4 into I0 plus 0.1 V0 minus 8 in angle 20 degrees is equal to 0. That is the equation 1. Here Now I consider here this is I1, this is I2, this is I3. Now apply Kirchhoff's current law I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. I1 is equal to this is V0, this is V, V0 minus V divided by minus J5. I2 is equal to V divided by J5. I3 is equal to 8 into I0. 
Therefore, I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. I know I1, I2, I3. I substitute V0 minus V divided by minus J5 is equal to V by J5 plus 8 into I0. I simplify the equation. V0 by minus J5 plus V by J5 minus V by J5 is equal to 8 into I0. Therefore, I0 is equal to V0 divided by J40. This is the equation 2. Substitute equation 2 in the equation 1. Here 4 into V0 divided by minus J40 plus 0.1 into V0 minus 8 and 20 degrees is equal to 0. Here V0 divided by minus J10 plus 0.1 V0 minus 8 angle 20 degrees is equal to 0. Again I simplify the equation. I got V0 into 0.1 plus J.1 is equal to 8 angle 20 degrees. I can find V0. V0 is equal to 8 angle 20 degrees divided by 0.1 plus J.1. That is equal to 56.74 angle minus 25 degrees in polar form. Once I know the voltage, I can easily find the power dissipation in the 10 ohm resistor. That is V0 square by R. I know V0. V0 is equal to 56.7 for the whole square divided by 10. That is equal to 321.94 watts. The power dissipation in the 10 ohm resistor is 321.94 watts. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.